My name is Jay. And I had so much fun last night that I decided that I was going to do another live show tonight. Since I have a bit of time, I wanted to just do another hour of painting. And so I decided that uh, it'd be a great idea just to do a live show tonight. I'll see if I can do like a live painting with Jay. Yesterday I was doing an assembly video. I got my uh, chaplain on a bike. All completed. Looking awesome. Broke his halo, as I predicted he would. Um, cool stuff, you know? So I just decided that I'm going to uh, put that there. And so say I'm just gonna paint tonight, do like a live painting with Jay. If no one shows, no problem. If people show up, awesome. Yeah. So today I'm gonna to be putting the finishing touches on my um, Dreadnought. That was this week's painting with Jay. Oops. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be working on this week's Dreadnought uh, that I was working on, you know, last week uh, for my painting with Jay. That way I just do a live uh, painting with Jay. You know, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to just turn the camera around eventually. But you can see I did a bit of progress, obviously, since then. Today, my goal is to pretty much finish up the model other than chat with people. You know, if you guys want to paint along or just talk. It was fun really yesterday. I'm going to try to get it again today. Right? I'm going to keep doing more of these live shows. I like this iPad idea because it's so much more versatile than the um, computer camera. And I also wanted to try my other camera, wherever it is. Um, I just lost my cord. Couldn't find it to connect my Canon camera with my video card. That'd be pretty good quality as well. I just want to do something that I can do the best quality for the easiest setup, essentially, right? Because I don't have the top of the line um, equipment, not at the moment. So yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn this camera around. And as you see, my desk is a little chaotic. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Here's my... All right, so let's turn it sideways. Cool. So I can keep that on camera like this. Cool. Just... There we go. So we should be able to see it. This is an easy way that I can hold this piece. This is just the, uh, the Laz Cannon part of the Ballistus Dreadnought. I have to just do a little bit of, of cleaning up on the silvers. And then here is the rest of the Ballistus Dreadnought at the moment. As you can see, I've made a bit of progress on them. You know, I wonder if I can zoom out with this camera. Mm, zoom in, cool. So I know I learned zoom in. So maybe I just back it up a little bit. Yeah, there he is. Looking good, live painting with Jay. So I've made a bit of progress on them since the um, painting with Jay. And now I'm just going to put some finishing touches on them with the, uh, let me just center this. Again, center the iPad around my hand. And I'm just going to work on some pieces today and just paint a little bit, talk with people. You know, if anyone joins the chats, awesome. And if not, I'll just keep painting, right? It's, that's the beauty of this. Um... It's just like a live painting with Jay, right? And so you, welcome to painting with Jay. You can just paint along with me. Rid your world of unpainted models, shall we? I'm gonna start off by taking some uh, iron breaker, which I did have my iron breaker. It fell over and it fell over, leaked everywhere, dried. So, but I was gonna buy some more iron breaker but then I realized that I don't need much more Iron Breaker because I'm only painting up, you know, after this, I have the, the Chaplain on a bike, which will have a bit of metallics on it. I have um, Azrael and, and uh, I have the Lion, but I don't, um, I'm just gonna create a bit of a chip, like weathered effect on this. And, but I don't really need much more metallic after that for a bit, right? I can just go a little bit long. I don't have, I, I don't have enough to paint those remaining models. I just need to, uh, 
have enough to paint those. And then I'm going to probably paint some Tyranids next. I think I'm really sold on the Tyranids next. And they won't need, I don't have any metallics on my Tyranids, right? It's all bio. So don't really need some uh, silver there. So I'll be okay. All right. I don't really have to buy more in the meantime. But I've been painting my army using, you know, primarily contrast and um, speed paints. And I love it. It saved me so much time. I love it. I'm just going to take out this other arm here. And there we go. So I've been loving these contrast paints. I don't use only contrast paints, right? I use a Zenithal approach. I use contrast paints and then I do a quick edge highlight and I paint true metallics. I don't use, I've not had a chance, if any of you out there in internet land have had a chance to use the uh, new speed paint line that has the metallics, I'd love to try them out sometime and see how they do. You know, do a review video on those because it'd be cool to see how they do. But I've been having a great time using contrast paints. And I, I'm going to make a video about it in the near future. I'm a little tired of, uh, YouTubers. Now, obviously let me preface this. Of course, I don't feel that I'm the best painter YouTuber out there. I'm not, obviously I paint to a tabletop standard. So a high tabletop standard for my, you know, for some of my painting tutorials or my HQs, you know, for a character that really wants to stand out, I paint uh, to a slightly higher tabletop standard, right? But I go tabletop. I use base coats, washes, highlights, right? Just, you know, basic steps. With contrast paints, I use contrast paint over a zenithal approach and then a highlight. And what I usually do is I do a mid highlight. So I, I usually use like a one, one mix. Unless I really want to push the highlights to the extreme then I would use the, the true highlight color. But um, I usually just use a one, one mix of the intermediate color and the highlight color, to be honest, for my highlights. Right? And that's what, that's what I've been painting with my with, with all my Dark Angels. And they turn out decently. Like, I, I think I could bring them to any tournament and get full painting scores. You know? I'm not... I'm not... Uh, yeah. I'm not too, you know, self-conscious about my painting style. Right? I'm not. But I don't like the fact that it's just as easy as... You know, like, in our niche videos, it's really easy to make crapping on GW videos. And I made a GW, um, my thoughts on GW video recently, but I did not, you know, just crap on GW the whole time. I don't because I wanted to do a fair and honest approach. They, obviously they make mistakes because every company does. They're not perfect, but they've made a lot of great decisions. And I wanted to talk about both and give them a fair shake at it, right? So now what I'm gonna do, what I like to do for exhaust, um, unlike the things here is just some black Templar, right? And then after it dries, you can then do a bit of a dry brush with, uh, something like a gray liner and it tends to produce a nice intermediate result. Like this guy, you know, has a bit of a fade to the guns and to the smokestacks, right? So it makes it nice and easy. Look at that. It takes a second to zoom in. So that's my other guy. That's my uh, Brutalis Dreadnought. So I'm just going to do that on this guy. No one in the chat yet. That's okay. It took a little while for yesterday's chats. I hope that people come eventually. But if not, all good. As I said, I just do, I want to do these impromptu ones, these live shows, until I get into a groove. I just want to. You know, people join, they join, awesome. If they don't join, no problem. But really, it's just an excuse for me to get on this table, to sit down, to paint a figure that I really want to get done. You know, this is my, my hour of painting for the day. And if it leads to a painted dreadnought, awesome. And obviously yesterday I assembled the chaplain on a bike, who's going to be my this week's painting with Jay. I can't live stream and uh, airbrush. It's too noisy with my compressor. So 
you know, tomorrow I'm probably going to sit down for a bit and um, give it a nice Zenithal um, you know, priming and go from there. I just step, put this back a little bit more. I have to remember the camera's like here. So, but a live ping with Jay. Look at this. And Bob's your uncle. I have five concurrent viewers. Cool. I remember years ago when I used to do live shows, I had at one point, I think 50 or 60. That was my peak. Peak time of Jake. But uh, like even yesterday, I had a great time doing my live show. I think eight or nine people joined at one. I think the most concurrent I had at one point was 10 or 11. But it was like eight or nine people really putting in comments, which is awesome. So I'm going to clean up the silver. I missed, I honestly, I pulled an atom as I would say it. And I missed a spot yesterday. So let me clean up that with some lead belcher. As the uh, chimney's dry. But this Dreadnought has been fun. You know, I've been really enjoying my Dark Angel painting challenge. I've been really enjoying um, painting up this army. And they're done soon. And that's okay. Like, I, I really am happy with the fact that I'm done soon. And then I'll turn my attention to the next army. Which, as I said, probably will be Tyranids. Just because Tyranids will be a little palette cleanser, some non-metallics, some... Yeah, you know, it's easy paint job that I can pretty much base coat all the models at the same time and uh, go from there, you know. I really want a Norn Emissary, but I don't know if I'll be getting one before. So I'm just going to take some uh, Imperial Fist, do a quick lighting on this part, on the light uh, right here. So it's not too bad. I'm looking at the camera right now. I'm trying to figure this out. So zooming, so if I pull up the camera a little bit more to like there, I'll slowly figure out the camera angles here. This is good. And I'll keep them on the ground. That way if I don't pick them up, it'll just keep it nice and same spot. Painting with Jay, live. Five concurrent viewers. Chat is enabled. Yeah, he's not going to take very long today. About an hour and I should have him pretty much done. But I figured I'd probably have time to, you know, um, to talk to people, obviously, because and then just clean up the But here, ooh. Got my iced tea. I used to buy this iced passion tea at Starbucks, and then I found out you, they like start, um, Costco sells the kits, the base for it, and you just add water. And so I've been buying those and saving some money, which is awesome. What should I do now? Guns, they're coming along. Maybe I'll start doing some, yeah, some quick highlights on the reds. And uh, go from there. Yeah, grab my palette. For those of you who don't know, uh, live show, I have my exemplar palette. I, my wet palette from, that I bought from the Kickstarter. Love it. Huge surface area. And of course, by me tipping that, uh, just to show that, I got paint everywhere. But that's okay. Jay's not really thinking. It's late night. So, I'm going to take some Lamy Medium, thin down some reds, and do some quick highlighting of Guy. Yeah. 
There we go. I like this iPad. I get this whole live show. I'm a live show person. Look at this. I'm live showing. Look at me. Um, <laughs> where are my reds? Here we go. So yeah, I'm going to use from my highlights today. I don't want something too extreme. So I'm just going to use an intermediate one-to-one -one mix of the two reds. So Wild Rider Red and Evil Sun Scarlet. 50-50 of each. And that way it'll be a nice, uh, I don't, I'm not going to push the highlights too much because I really want them to come up that orangey. For these, I'm just going to do some, you know, quick highlights on the red. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't need to be too great. Love my wet palette. So far, I think my video on GW has been well received, which is good. I've lost a lot of subscribers. I've lost like, I love it. It's, uh, it's all good. Um, what I've noticed is if you take time off YouTube, like let's say you don't put up a video for a month, most of the time the, it's, I don't know if it's a system or if people just realize you exist and don't like you anymore or something, but uh, at, you know, you post a video after being gone for a while and you instantly lose a bunch of subscribers. It's like so quickly. And that happens with me now. I was gone for so long, losing about, you know, hundred subscribers a month on average, every month that I wasn't posting videos and I started posting videos. And since posting videos again, I've lost about another um, 500, 400 subscribers. Grove and Grove. Red is the best. Slap some checks on one and I'll call it a job done. I respect that, Grove and Grove. Miss y'all. I got to check out the, the chat with you guys more. You know what I'm talking about. Grove and Grove and I go way back, you know. Uh, I was going to be the best man at his wedding, but what foiled that was he never got engaged. So, one day. I'm called Dibs. I'm his, I'm his best man or maid of honor. I'll do either. One day. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. How about you? How are things in Ontario? I'm in the future. I'm an hour ahead. Yeah. So let me just make sure that the camera here, yeah, it's decent. Um, yeah, things are going really well. I'm, I'm enjoying life. I... Having fun. Bought some orcs. Always good. Painting Dark Angels. I know you love both. <laughs> exactly. You name it. You named the uh, the group. No, I'm sorry. You you mentioned the group of. I think it was Cody Rue who actually came up with the expression. I forget who named the who actually named the actual group. But yeah, yeah, that's that's the name. <laughs> that was the future. It's good. You know, not a lot's happened over the last you know a little bit in time, but um, like here it's. Uh, it's 10.50, right? I can tell you the score of the Leafs game. They lost to the uh, Penguins. Surprise. You know, buying orcs is always a good time. Exactly. I bought the Battle Force. It hasn't come yet. I bought it from a shop in Ontario, and it just hasn't arrived yet. But uh, I don't need it today anyway, because I'm, I'm going to be painting... These guys for at least another few weeks. And then I'll be painting, uh, as I said, probably some Tyranids. Then probably Orcs. Orcs are going to take me a little while. I think I might make a video where I might challenge myself. If I have a whole day to myself, like a holiday or something, that I can take this time with my wife. Uh, so my wife, uh, so for her job, sometimes she doesn't get certain holidays off. But for my job, I do. And I'm thinking the next time that happens, I want to see if I can challenge myself to paint... Um, like a hundred grots in a day. And not only, like, I want to paint them to a, my normal standard. 100 grots in a day. I'm going to call the video a lot of grot. Or that's a lot of grot. I haven't decided yet the video name. I have time. I just don't know where I put my paintbrush. Jay is losing his mind. Live on TV. Um... 
I put down my paintbrush, like literally. Let's just hear. I will use this one. Which units did you buy? Uh, for orcs, I bought the Battle Force. So the, uh, you know, the, all the new guys, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, for orcs. Just one of the Battle Forces. I, I really, I wanted to buy two. I just couldn't justify the spending that kind of money this time of year. But I really wanted to buy two because the Battle Forces were such good value. It was basically 50% off if you were able to buy at a store that had a discount. And, um, yeah. It was, it was awesome. So now let me just find some... Uh, what do I want to pay? A touch of the greens, maybe? Just keep going with these ones. Um, today's that day. Just before coming here, I... I arranged some of my paints a certain way, and I just don't remember where I put each one. Uh, let's borrow this stuff. This one. Good thing I'm off camera. So some Dark Angels green. Yeah. For Tyranids, I have just the Leviathan box set. And as I, I mentioned yesterday, um, I really do want to pick up a Norm Emissary kit for my Tyranids. Because it seems to be a fun model to, to you know, start as the foundation of a list build. Um, but they're all sold out at the moment. Because GW basically focused all the stock on... Um, GW focused all the stock on uh, the Battle Forces that came out for Christmas time. They included the Norm Emissary. And so it's been sold out. That happened with a few models. There's a few kits out there that have been sold out because they just, they focused all the uh, production to include them in the battle forces. Makes sense. I'm just cleaning up some of this. Cool. I'm gonna pull in Adam and miss a spot. Views. Eight concurrent viewers. Yeah, I miss the club, man. Miss y'all. You playing much these days in Grove? And if so, you playing orcs? You playing Dark Angels? I could have sworn I saw something with you recently. I think you were playing Dark Angels on it. Maybe I'm wrong. You spoiled the... I spoiled thee. You spoiled thee. Okay. Sorry. Away from keyboard. You definitely missed a spot. Yes, it is. I missed a spot. You know, I'm a little hypocritical sometimes, but I'm not saying that I don't miss spots. Like, it's just, it's one of my jobs to make sure that Adam from Greenland knows that he missed a spot. And so I don't really care. Like, if I miss spots, that's okay. I don't claim that I'm not, I'm not a spot misser. I really don't. I, I, I'm full of missing spots. But, uh, there we go. Cool. But I, it's my job to make sure that Adam... I'm, my model's not even on the table right now. I gotta get bring it back into it. Clean up some areas here. There. Cool. It'll really darken it. Maybe clean, remove some of that extra pigment. Just, you know, I still call best man for you, man. Let me know if and when you ever get married. I'll be there. Cody Rue will come all the way from San Francisco. You gotta invite Cody Rue. And Hugh. You know, because otherwise, if you don't invite Hugh, you're just gonna have a forest fire near you. Or forest fryers, right? 
I was actually at the bunker today playing in my first game of Warhammer 40k 8th edition in a tournament. Awesome! Very cool. The Warhammer 40... Uh, the, um, the mini wargaming bunker? How'd it go? So, yeah, I'm pretty much done with him. Oh, maybe I... Any places to really clean up here? Yeah, why not? Um, how'd it go? What'd you play? I'm guessing Dark Angels? Or did you play Orcs? That is way too dark. Let's remove some of this excess pigment. Sometimes if it's too dark, I'll just take a little bit of a wet brush. There. That was really good. Much better. In all of my hands. I haven't been to the mini wargaming bunker yet. I don't think so. Of course, now I live about many, many, many hours away from the mini wargaming bunker, so... Playing a full goblin army. Oh, so it was it was AOS. And they are insanely wacky and fun. My Doom Diver misfired. Rolled a one and was destroyed. Oh, I miss those days. You know, honestly, you know what I miss the most about like the current edition of 40k was is some of the randomness. Um, I miss the randomness that Oh, let's get this on camera again. Perfect. So I miss the randomness. Like when you, you know, roll a one, you blow off your own head. Or the, um, the scatter die. I miss the scatter die. <laughs> because how many times did someone try to deep strike, went off the table, died? Like several editions of 40k ago, there was First Blood, Slay the Warlord, and Linebreaker as the three secondary objectives. And I've seen countless games playing over the years where someone would come into Deep Strike, turn one, go off the table, die, and that would give me Slay the Warlord or, and or like First Blood. I lost my 12 trolls, 50 goblins, and a rock lobber to morale, probably 1,200 points. Whoa! But the units died because I missed. That's insane! So you probably had a fun time. You may not have won. Or did you win? I don't know. But uh, usually if you lose 1,200 points of your army, it's not a good sign. You know? Unless it's like first one off the table wins. Um, this is cool. Catching up with Grove and Grove. Grove and Grove and I went mini-golfing almost exactly seven years ago. It was in October, late October. We played mini golf, with the dinosaurs in Niagara Falls. Chatted about life. For those who don't know, Grove and Grove is a master of mini golf. Don't ever let him swindle you. Don't play a buck a ball, you'll lose. Yeah. It's like how Hugh can prevent florist fryers and stuff. Golfing with dinosaurs. Good time. See, yeah. That was an amazing time. Exactly. Yeah. I'm now out in my own area. I miss the group. You know? Uh, no, that's good. I love Rawl. I like this guy. He's painted to a decent standard. Okay. I'm just going to assemble him. Put him together. And, uh, and then probably paint his base. We'll get the base done today. Get him all tidied up. You know? Um, let's see him over here. Cool. 
Go, go, Power Rangers. Woo. Gotta let that dry and then touch up the red. But overall, I'm all pretty happy with this guy. Paint the rock. Oh, I gotta hit that with, with the shade. Let me do a... Or Agrex Earth shade for the pipes. We miss you too, buddy. Exactly. Just a master of deception, not only mini golf. I respect that. And the fact that you play Dark Angels and Orcs as well. <laughs> Are you still kit bashing a lot of orcs or your models? Because I don't know a lot of tournaments. Some tournaments in this area don't like a lot of kit bash models. I should join the chat more. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's paint some rocks. Shadowed stone. Yeah, that's a perfect one for stone. Me some Reaper, Shadowed Stone. Live painting with Jay. Oh, I just lost two viewers. I think I offended some people. That's okay. Talking with Grove and Grove. People left. As I said yesterday in my live show, if I ever do, uh, if I ever do AOS, there's a couple armies that I'm really interested in that are just better than me. I, I, I love the look of them. I would simply just choose the army that really appeals to me. Um, Goblin's really cool. I just, I just, I, I figured if I do AOS, I want, I don't want to paint, uh, you know, orcs or goblins or just, I, I wanted a whole different army um, just to, have a different color and you know just go from there um what was the army i really like the name seraphim are the are the army i really like seraphim um yeah dreadnought is looking ace by the way thank you it's like a weird chat it's just me and my me and my one viewer talking. I'm just having fun. I can't hold the model like I normally do, so I'm literally just putting it on the table to keep it in, in camera and painting it like this. That's okay. It's not normally how I paint a model. As you can see, I'm just pushing the model as I paint it. But it's all good. So two armies went up on pre-order today, Necrons and uh, Admech. Um, a couple of my local stores are actually sold out of some of the products. They didn't get a large stock, according to one of the managers I was talking to. Not a very large stock. But uh, GW has tons. You know, their codices, they're not going to sell out anytime soon. The uh, the shop's already out of all the Necron characters. I don't think I I don't think Gogo -Go Gadget Legs is gonna sell. I don't know. Maybe he's gonna sell well. I don't. I'm not gonna really pick up Gogo -Go Gadget Legs guy. I'm gonna call him that. I forget his actual name for the Admech. Um, he just doesn't seem, in my opinion, that he's a, he's an assassin. Like cool. He's like a Vindicare assassin, but weaker in every way. Doesn't hit as hard. Doesn't hit as likely. Doesn't wound as likely. And then he does D3 wounds. Not even three. He really should do three. A straight three would be good. But it's I think it's D3. Or maybe it's the vehicle he does D3 do. But even still, he's not going to take out any characters very quickly. You know. I haven't seen the, the rules if he's going to be a, a 
special character. Otherwise, you run multiple of them. Yeah. You can target the same guy every turn. That'd be good. The same guy for, like, three... If you have three of them hiding around. But usually with these assassin types, you can only have one of each. Yeah. And then the Necrons, they didn't get any, like, new mod... They didn't get any new uh, units. They just got... the new models for the, you know, Emotech and Oberon, the Overlord. The Overlord looks really great. I love him. He looks like a mini Catan shard. Just need to pick up my model for a second. Cool. Let that dry. Playing more AOS these days. Oh, cool. I haven't done my 40k in the last couple of years. I'm try I tried getting back into it early this edition, but I think between how units and characters work together is in list building. Oh. Okay. I'm playing more AOS these days and doing some Blood Bowl. Awesome. But here and there, are you going to play the new epic or old? Old War Fantasy game. Um, maybe. Uh, the Old War Fantasy game looks awesome. Um, epic looks really cool. The uh, Legion's... I'm just kind of see if my meta picks it up. If there's some people in my meta playing it, Legions, I, I, Imperials, yeah, I think it's a really, it's just awesome. The models look fantastic. You know, I love the scale. You can, you know, play this gargantuan army that you, just, you move the, the models easily. You can, it's it's such an easy, um, it, it looks like a great game to play. The models look fantastic. They're so tiny though. So tiny. Yeah. So, let's take a look here. 11 of stuff. Cool. I'll paint for another bit of time. How long have I been doing the live show for? Can't even tell. 10.30. 35 minutes. Okay. I really gotta upgrade my computer. That's gonna be the key for, I think 2024, I'm gonna upgrade my computer. I gotta, I built this computer, the one I'm currently using. I built it back in 2013 or 2014. So it's old and it's the point where it's really getting, like I don't even get Microsoft support starting soon. And I, uh, it's really starting to, to die and there's no more storage. So I would like to build a new computer in the near future. I love, I recently watched just, a, you know, how to build a PC these days. Oh, man, the sound. This is like painting AM, what is it called, ASMR. And now we're going to paint. I just got a little weird there for a second, sorry. Um... um that's funny. Just trying to pick up some of the raised areas. A bit of paint here. There we go. Pick up some of the grains. All this base is just a uh, Astro Granite Earth, the textured paint. I got a bunch of them on discount a while ago. And so, easy basing material. Whenever you buy the computer, my universe is the future. Yes. Exactly. It is the future. Now that I'm living in the future, what I like to do, because I live, obviously, I live in a different time zone than most of my friends and family, like, especially like Christmas Eve, I'll always <laughs> message them at like 12.01 my time and be like, it's Christmas in my, in the future. Or like, again, New Year's Day, 
I love to mess them at like 12 o'clock my time and be like, it's the year 2024 in my time. What year is it there? And they're always like, shut up, Jay. <laughs> my family's gotten used to it. I just send them the same message. They're like, shut up. <laughs> we don't like that joke anymore. Y'all know me. Cool. I have five concurrent viewers. As I said, I'm just going to do these live shows every now and just see how they go. Completely impromptu. If people join, they join. If they don't join, they don't join. You know? I, it's, it's, my, it's a decent time right now in the States, which is where most of my viewers live, or Canada, where a good chunk of my viewers live. Uh, Britain, it's not a good time for them. It's like three in the morning, right? So. I can't hear the sound. I wonder if you guys can hear I don't know if something just aired. No. Okay. My computer, it looks like it just aired. Exit that. Go back in. Okay. There we go. Back on. In the year two thousand. less people than yesterday but different time starting but I'll start th so it's been fun making videos again I don't I honestly don't know how long I'll be making videos for I'll just keep doing it while I can it's been good to be back it really has it's been a fun time and I'm gonna keep going as long as I can it's a little wet still but I bet I can just pick up some textures yeah there we go drive blended a little bit more yeah I definitely need a new computer eventually my current goal in the short term is to just get back to there no I'm still going okay um, looks like the live stream still going let me see here Yep, I can hear it. So, my current goal is to get my channel remonetized, at least in the short term, because then that way I just can make a little for my videos, put it back into making more videos. Again, put it towards a computer or something. Maybe eventually I'd like to get back into the. Uh, Review program for Games Workshop, if they'll let me. I wasn't kicked out or anything. I uh, I asked to leave when I stopped making videos. Hmm. It might have aired. So this is alive. I don't know if people got kicked out.
That's really weird. Still alive. Yeah. It's been good. I get to just sit here and do like a live paint with Grove and Grove. I miss the group. I really should message the group more. You know, it was Steve's birthday and I could barely even talk to him about his birthday. Anybody who's a member of our group knows how important Steve's birthday is to celebrate. Steve from Mini War Gaming. Because <laughs> you don't know. I'm having technical difficulties or something. It's just not coming up. I'll work on these guys in the meantime. Luckily, I can just add it adds a bit of texture. No. I like painting with Jays. I like this idea. Hey, Mikey. He likes it. What else do I want to do right now? Let's, uh, hmm. Paint a little bit of... What do I want to use? Let's get some Typhus Corrosion on us. Or Nurgle's Rot. That's what I wanted to use. Yes. Nurgle's Rot to paint some little gross streams of grossness coming from the, uh, this stuff is just so gross. I found it in my, in my painting cabinet. Like, love that. Look at how this is, yeah, oh yeah. That's just, isn't that gross? So, it's so good to add into sewer areas. That's really quick grossness and it's glossy. So it just dries pretty cool, you know, semi-transparent. It clears up, it cleans up just a little bit. Get a second layer if you really wanted to make it look extra gross. Let's got some pooling areas. That way it just breaks up the look. Look at that. This guy is coming along. And then that first coat. Yeah, that should be good. And a little bit more of the silver, the scaffolding or whatever it is on this guy's base. But as you can see, this guy, this week's painting with Jay is going to be done pretty easily. And I can't wait to get to the three HQs. That's, you know, as I said, regarding new games, I really do want to play some new games. Like AOS would be awesome. I just feel guilty right now, as long as I have such a huge pile of unpainted models. And that's why I'm gonna continue working on my goal, get rid of them. Once I, I get my models painted, I can start whatever I want, right? I just feel so guilty right now about, not about, uh, about um, starting a new army. So I'm gonna pretty much end here. Uh, this is where I want to get the product to. Oh, sorry, I want to paint that little light. So I'll paint that little light. I'll do a blue light. Yeah, go blue. 
and I'll get the blue light done, and then I'll probably just end soon on this guy. Uh, I'll, paint, I'll put the grass flock in, but I have to let the Nurgle's rot dry first, because otherwise it'll, you know, dry to it. This is awesome. I just get to keep, if the, if I get to just solely catch up with Grove and Grove tonight, it's worth it. There. So. Tonight's Penny with Jay. I think it's been a success. Live Penny with Jay. One end like this. Looks pretty good. Overall, happy with it. It's where it is so far. Uh, you know what? One more thing. This is dry. I'll just do a quick dry brush uh, there to put some uh, some gray liner on my palette. Turn off the light at the same time. And dry brush that. Get as much done in this video as I can because I really don't want this video to end. It's been so much fun. Hair. There we go. I'll blend those together. Done. Cool. Look at that. So let's. Turn the camera around. That's cool. In the end, he looks awesome compared to my standard. I just got to do the grass block and then paint the the black around his base. I'll just turn this around. See if anyone else joins. Otherwise, we'll call it a night. That's okay. I've been at this for 53 minutes already. Just doing a live painting with Jake. There's three viewers out there. What these things do? Ooh, filters, dance party. Mm. That's pretty cool. Beam. Oh, that's good. Increases latest. Pop. Pop's nice. Glow. This is hilarious. All right, I'll do that one. saturated colors. Yeah. So all things are going well. I'm going to make some videos in the next couple days about the rules that I've seen for uh, Admech and for Necrons. Since, you know, the two armies that I do play, I have a considerable amount of both of them. My Admech army is done. I'm not going to paint many more models for it. Um, no. And then my Necrons, I have a, still a bit of the starter set from last edition to paint uh, for Necrons. And a Catan Shard to paint for Necrons. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Maybe I'll do them after Tyranids. We'll see. I'm just going to keep playing it by ear. Choose the army that I'm really passionate about painting painting and uh, keep going from there. All right, well, the time is 11.25. So I'm gonna call it now. I'm all done for the day. I painted for my hour. It looks, the model's pretty much done. Thank you, Grove and Grove and everyone else who jumped in and, and watched this live show. It's been really awesome seeing you all, for sure. Um, I'm gonna just gonna call it a night, but I'm gonna do this live show again. This, I'm just testing it out and seeing who's interested and how many people and 
I'm trying to set up more regular times that people can kind of expect it. Maybe I'll schedule it, you know, and that way I can, people know about it ahead of time versus the impromptu style that I've been doing lately. But it's just been really cool just to, again, interact with people in live time. That's what it's about. You know, I, uh, I've had a great time so far making videos and I'm glad that people are watching them and appreciating them. It means a lot. So stay tuned for more live shows and until uh, next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting and see you again soon.